Hello. Thank you so much for joining me for Give Him 15. The title of our post today is What is Unshakable Will Remain. The past 48 hours have shocked many Americans. While my responsibility and calling is not to defend individuals or political parties, it is worth pointing out that what the left did on 8-8 has never been done in our 246 year, year history as a nation. My assignment, however, is to help us identify what is going on behind the scenes spiritually so we can pray more effectively. Hebrews 12, 25 through 29 in the Passion Translation tells us, make very sure that you never refuse to listen to God when he speaks. For the God who spoke on earth from Sinai is the same God who now speaks from heaven. Those who heard him speak his living word on earth found nowhere to hide. So what chance is there for us to escape if we turn our backs on God and refuse to hear his warnings as he speaks from heaven? The earth was rocked at the sound of his voice from the mountain, but now he has promised once and for all, I will not only shake the systems of the world, but also the unseen powers in the heavenly realm. Now this phrase, once and for all, clearly indicates the final removal of things that are shaking, that is the old order. So only what is unshakable will remain. Since we are receiving our rights to an unshakable kingdom, we should be extremely thankful and offer God the purest worship that delights his heart as we lay down our lives in absolute surrender, filled with awe. For our God is a holy, devouring fire. We have asked God to shake loose the evil in our government and nation, to expose and cleanse. This continues to happen with remarkable speed. It seems that all stops have been pulled out by those who want to completely transform our nation into something other than what we were created to be. They seek to distort our history, remove time-honored moral standards, take over our government, and silence the church. Emboldened as never before, they feel no need to try and hide their agenda, sending drag queens to teach our kids and the Justice Department to those who object. This is disheartening, but their unmasking is necessary. Exposure, exposure, exposure. We must continue to pray for the lights to be turned on and the evil to be dislodged. We must also ask God for grace to protect us as it occurs, that Haman's gallows be used for himself, not the innocent. We must pray that all explosions be implosions, the debris falling inward. And yet, we must cry out that nothing stops the exposing and draining of the stagnant, putrid swamp. May the odor become so offensive unbearable that Americans appeal to heaven for mercy. We must ask that this wake-up call, which is becoming one of the loudest in our 246-year history, finally be answered by common sense, patriotism, and zeal. God will then do what only he can do, send the fire. His fire cleanses and redeems. The last two verses of the above passage 
in the message translation are very poignant. Do you see what we've got? An unshakable kingdom. And do you see how thankful we must be? Not only thankful, but brimming with worship, deeply reverent before God, for God is not an indifferent bystander. He's actively cleaning house, torching all that needs to burn, and he won't quit until it's all cleansed. God himself is fire. Powerful. A trusted prophetic friend sent me a brief word this morning, accompanied with another powerful passage of scripture. She said, I hear the word boomerang. Evil is about to boomerang back on the workers of iniquity and evil in our land. Holy Spirit then led her to Psalm 7, 15 through 17, again, from the Passion Translation. And I quote, look how the wicked conceive their evil schemes. They go into labor with their lies and give birth to trouble. They dig a pit for others to fall into, not knowing that they will be the very ones that will fall into their own pit of failure. For you, God. We'll see to it that every pit digger who works to trap and harm others will be trapped and harmed by their own treachery. But I will give all my thanks to you, Lord, for you make everything right in the end. I will sing my highest praise to the God of the highest place. I believe this is a word from the Lord. We must continue to believe that God is exposing evil and turning the tables on the evil one. Let the shaking and exposure continue. I conclude with one other short word from Holy Spirit sent to me last week by Sally Jadlow, a chaplain in Kansas. She said, and I quote, batten down the hatches for a great wind is coming. She's prophesied this, by the way, as from the Lord. Batten down the hatches for a great wind is coming. It will blow the chaff out from the wheat in order to put the wheat in my barns. A time of great shape shaking, a strong winnowing is coming. The chaff will be blown away in the strong wind the time of separating has come. My cup of wrath grows full, even to the brim. Those who have thought themselves so clever will discover their utter folly, their utter foolishness. The first trickling, tricklings of the avalanche have begun. So minute many have not yet noticed it. Others who are on watch see its beginnings, but cannot fathom the magnitude and scope of its ruin. The downfall will be great. It will cause many to turn and repent. For others, they will only go farther into their sinfulness, cursing me with even their last breath. It's sheep and goat time. Those who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. The others will go to condemnation. Each one may make his choice. I would that all would be saved, but each one makes their choice. Amen. Keep praying, church. Heaven is responding. Let's pray. God of consuming fire, we appeal to you. Just as our founders did two and a half centuries ago, we boldly declare that you are our victory. 
Our faith is not in our ability to overcome evil. It is in your ability. You've already declared the end of this story. And you will see that accomplished. As those who want to force you from our midst once and for all become more and more emboldened, we realize you are allowing them to build their own gallows. Like Haman in the book of Esther, you will expose them and they will fall into their own traps. We accept the responsibility of being born for such a time as this. We will not run. We will not fear. And with your help, we will not fail. We pray for those who are standing against evil. Strengthen them. Give them wise counsel and strategies. Thank you for the stand, President Trump, who kept his word in appointing three pro-life justices. Because of that, we now have seen the reversal of Roe. Move upon the hearts of Americans to put righteous men and women with backbones of steel in government positions. People who will say with our founders, we pledge our lives, fortunes, and sacred honor towards seeing America fulfill all she was destined for. Expose evil. Shake down evil and unrighteous systems and send revival. And we pray these things in the name of Jesus, the winner. Amen. And our decree. We decree as we have before that the evil plans of the wicked will boomerang back on them. Amen. Amen. Keep praying, church. The appeal still works. God still answers prayer. Thank you for joining me. I will see you tomorrow.